If you could change one thing on your website, what should it be? That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you. If you're a business owner like me, you're always looking for that silver bullet, aren't you? I mean, you're always looking for something new that will drive more traffic, that will drive some immediate results, right? I mean, think about it. But what happens as a business owner, a lot of times is we, we, we think, I mean, how do I put this? We think it has to be something very magical, something very large, a very large production, something that has to cost tens of thousands of dollars. Well, that's where we're making mistakes. What am I talking about? I'm talking about exit intent technology. Think about it. Let's say, for example, someone comes into your showroom, somebody comes into your business, and they're interested in buying your product or buying your service, and they're talking to one of your associates, a salesperson, and then for some reason they don't do the purchase. And they're like, oh, I don't know, let me think about it, let me get back to you. And then they get up from the negotiation table and they go to leave. What happens? What do you do? Well, I mean, if you're like most, what happens is you send in the manager, you're, you send in upper management, the, the owner comes in, whether it's in a showroom or whether it's on the phone when you're trying to do the deal. The manager steps in and the manager tries to close the deal. In some industries, it's called a TO. But what about your website? What are you doing on your website? And I mean, this is this is a mistake that it seems like, well, not seems like it is, that over 99% of all businesses are making. You're doing all of this effort, you're spending all of this money to drive traffic to your website. Again, I wanna say that again. You're spending a whole lot of money and a whole lot of effort to get people to your website. But what happens when they're on your website if they don't find the right product, the right service, they don't like your price, they don't like the layout of your website? There's so many things that can go wrong on your website. Are you looking at the people leaving your website? Are you looking at the exit intent? Are you watching why people are leaving your website? Are you looking at those numbers? And I'm not talking about bounce. I'm not talking about your bounce rating because the bounce rating is where they visit the first page. I'm talking about people leaving your website after they visit a couple pages. Are you looking at that? Probably not. But you're looking at that in your business again. I mean, do you not have a manager that will step in when the salesperson can't close the deal, but you're not doing it on your website? Again, I'm talking about exit intent. And that's a strategy you're missing on your website. So what if, I mean, just think about this for a second. What if there is a technology out there that would watch the traffic coming to your website. In other words, the individuals coming to your website, what if the technology knew where they were coming from? Let's say that they were coming from a competitor of yours. Let's say, for example, that you're, you're a car dealer. And let's say that individual that's coming to your website already looked at another dealer's website or two or three or four other dealers' website, and they're coming to your website. What would that tell you right there? Would that tell you that that person is in the market, that they're interested in buying a car, that they're really shopping, that they're really serious? Now, what if this technology knew that, that the technology knew the individual coming to your website has been shopping other dealers' websites? And then what happens is it watches their behavior, everything that they're doing on the website. So in other words, if they're clicking and they're looking at different pages and they're reading content and they're, they're reading reviews and it's watching, in other words, this exit intent technology watches everything that they do. But again, they're on your website, maybe they don't like the price, maybe they didn't find exactly what they were looking for, maybe it's just this, the website just didn't you know, motivate them to pick up the phone and call or fill in a lead form. What if it didn't do that? Well, chances are it didn't. I mean, think about it. How many people come to your website and don't submit a lead? Is it 95% of the traffic? 96? 98%? Well, we know this for a fact. The vast majority of people coming to your website are not filling in a lead form and not calling you. So what if you could have a technology that's watching that behavior, that digital body language, and when that individual goes to leave your website, it presents a message. In other words, it does more or less, it's kind of like a pop-up, but it's not a pop-up that when they come to the website, 
It's a pop-up message that's specific to that one individual when they go to leave your website. I'm talking about exit intent technology. Again, let me say that again. Exit intent technology. It's there, it's available, why aren't you using it? It's a great technology. So what I wanna do right now, and I mean, yeah, this is a helpful video to tell you about it because I've talked to a lot of people out there, a lot of business owners and a lot of marketers, and they're like, yeah, I've heard about it, I think, but I don't understand how it works. But I've talked to even more that says, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never heard of this. It's exit intent technology. So if you Google it, you could just Google exit gadget and you'll find it. But what I wanna do now is I wanna show you a few examples, some stats, because if you're like most, your website's converting at, you know, maybe 1%, one and a half, two percent if you're doing really well. What if you had exit intent technology and it's increasing your conversion, in other words, on that, people visiting your website, by an additional 1%. It eh, probably doesn't sound so attractive, does it? Well, it does. If you start to say, oh, I got 5,000 people to my website, and out of the 5,000 people, I got 1% converting right now. Conversion in my book, guys, let me clarify that. Somebody fills in a lead form, and they submit their information, and now you have a, a lead to work, or they pick up the phone and call. That's a conversion in my book. So what if now that conversion on your website goes from 1% to 2% with exit intent technology? If you don't have exit intent technology on your website, you're throwing money away. And that's all there is to it. You are throwing money away. So what I wanna do right now on the screen, I wanna show you some conversion some conversion results. I want you to look at this, because it's, it's amazing, something so simple, but, does so well. So take a look at these numbers. All right, were those numbers impressive or what? Yeah, definitely they are. And you can even visit those websites and possibly see it. Because again, let me go back to what's happening with this technology. It's watching the behavior. In other words, where did that individual come from? Are they looking at other websites? So this is not a pop-up that always pops up when somebody goes to leave the website. It's popping up because it's watching that digital body language. It's looking at that individual's profile and it's showing the message based on their their likelihood to be a good lead, to be a good prospect. So it doesn't just pop up and become annoying, it pops up on the most important, the, the most valuable leads on your website. It's a fascinating technology and it's one that you should have on your website. I mean, how much are you spending? I mean, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, $50,000 a month to get more traffic to your website, but you're not doing anything about when they go to leave your website. I mean, yeah, granted, you might be doing some retargeting, which retargeting is a great way, but retargeting is a generic message, and uh, I don't know, the vast majority of retargeting messages I see out there just don't make sense. But anyway, that's another point. Again, it's Exit Gadget, Exit Intent Technology. Check it out. Phone number on the screen. If you want to get it on your website, just give us a call. Yeah, this was Think Tank Tuesday, but it's an idea. It's a strategy you're not doing. You should definitely be doing it, and it will definitely help. See you next week.